What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts, where we are going to go help... We're going to go save Dogen from a psychopathic dentist. Do you remember, for some reason, he's in the brain tumbler experiment, and he's scared, and he doesn't know what's going on. But apparently, if you have a bad brain, you have to take it out. You have to excuse my dog. He likes to do that. But, uh, no. So we're going we're gonna to help out this baggage. He needs help. He's a, he's a good... He's a good baggage. <clears throat> so yes, what, uh... Oh, check it out. I didn't realize you get a rank up whenever you do that. Oh, what? We got them all? For real? We got all the brain tumbles? Sweet. Alright, well, don't complain. <clears throat> I thought we might... <clears throat> we might have a bit more to do, but you know, whatever. Okay, so... I'm just gonna bust this guy open. We're gonna collect as many figments as we can, and then once we get that... Stop moving. This thing really flies. It's a bad. Let's read. The world shall taste my eggs. Eggs. Hatching egg. Walking brain chicken thing. Fish. Riding fish. Riding fish to an like, amusement park. Brain egg cup ride. Killing people while in the cups. Okay, what the hell was that? <laughs> I'm seeing some crazy stuff in here, Sasha. This can't be right. Ah, uh, why did I buy the cheap brain tumbler? <laughs> Sasha, you could have paid full price, man. You screwed me. Um, yeah, that was interesting, actually. I don't, I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. So anyway, let's keep climbing up this tower and go rescue Dogen. This game is funny because it's adjusting my camera, but it also expects me to kind of meet it halfway. Ugh, there's no way to get any higher. You must use your levitation power. Oh. I don't know how to levitate. Sweet. Sweet. So, as I mentioned before, we're about to go learn from Mia the next big important power in the game, which is the power of levitation. So I didn't want to spoil this for you, but it's pretty cool. You're going to excite. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get really excited to show this one. I, I really like the next level. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey. Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Okay, so we'll for sure go earn our levitation merit badge, but a few things first. Let's go get our new power. <laughs> Because we have one waiting for us. Where would you like me to? Um, we're gonna go earn a new superpower, and then what we're also gonna do is explore the camp a bit more. Actually, I might make to wait. I won't explore the camp any more than I have to. I want to get levitation before we actually do another like run around the camp thing because it's actually important. All we learned to do was shoot since the last time we've explored the camp, so I've probably swept it pretty dry for now. I mean, I haven't explored the docks yet, but. We'll come back and we'll do it all once we get uh, the levitation power up. So for In now. Recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. Oh crap! I forgot about this. This one is uh, well, it does literally what you might think it does. I don't think I use it all that much, but. Anything's good to use, right? With telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. Okay, how do I do this? Uh, L2. No! Now who said to let that go? Not me. Okay, so what? Well, I, I grabbed onto it. Okay, so I'm holding it. And then you just position it and... Yes. Now, when you've chosen your destination, throw it! Got it, man. You got it. Oh, <laughs> good throw! Now! Let's see if you can make it through the hoop. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa! Oh, I forgot about yeah. that. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, 
I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Hoops! Hoops! Okay. This might be a bit hard. Oh, you know what? The, I think the game, yeah, the game pretty much auto aims for you. Rasput. Oh, great shot! Let's see you do that again. Yeah, this game is beautiful Come for, on. like, it assumes that you're not gonna have perfect Bingo. accuracy, which okay. is, I really like. Last one. Right. Oh, be careful now. Shut up, or I'll lift you and throw you. There we go. Yeah, the game, like, auto-locks it for me, so I don't have to do too much work. Now, let me show you something. Pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. Okay. The side of the caravan. Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses! Now how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. The thing about this is, as far as telekinesis goes, it probably does more damage than my, like, side like blast. trash took him out. But, like, yeah, it's, I would rather use Next side lesson, blast. We'll work on your snappy one-liners. Okay, so that's done. So what I'm just gonna quickly do is I'm gonna see if I have to make any side cards just while I'm at it, you know. I don't know. I don't know if I have any. I still need to buy a side core at the camp store before. Okay, I don't. I don't have anything. Yeah. Side challenge markers. So, let's make a quick stop over by the store before we go find ah. Mia, and then we will go learn to levitate. Super cool level. Uh, this way. I oh, get lost in this room. And I think it's because there's just lots of like floating platforms around. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Take me to the not the parking lot. Not Agent Nine's lab. I just came down here to hear your voice. I'm headed to the parking lot, main lodge. Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh. Okay. I guess I could discuss the plot of Psychonauts 2 here. I don't think I've ever talked about it. Oh, I can't. No, I can't, because it's a spoiler for the end of this game. Well, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited, too, because it sounds really neat. It sounds really, like, top-notch, so I'm excited for that story. Now, show me loading screen. At least they have something going on on loading screens. It could be worse. Okay, I don't know if I can afford to buy the... Uh, hey, look, a, a card. Um... If I can afford to buy the uh, the arrow or the dousing rod, I'll do that because it was recommended to me and it saves you a lot of time, apparently, while you're running around gathering money. So I might even do that off camera if it does work as well as I think it is. Maybe I'll just gather the whatever crazy amount of money I need uh, in order to buy the web, the detangler of the webs, mental cobweb detangler. Anyway, whatever. The point is, we'll see how much it is with just while I'm here. Uh, hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Now with oh, that's my eight hundred. Holy that, crap! I probably don't have enough for anything. Now that you know what? The dust rod's only fifty bucks. Now, now, now that Let's do it. rod will help you I'll find air sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. Okay, the dousing rod can be used to find deeper, more valuable titanium uh, arrowheads. Use the dousing rod and watch um, its changing color and vibration. This is how it lets you know that you're getting closer, deep arrowheads. Once you're in the right spot, trap, tri uh, press triangle very rapidly to extract them from the ground. What else can I do you for? That's I can buy a few side cards, but I, I'm not... Go get in a it. huge hurry because because you have to go down there I don't really like to run down and get side cards and exchange them so I want to try this arrowhead thing out just because I want to make some bank and if it works really well then we could possibly speak well you know what for 800 or whatever they charge me for that side web like cobweb detangler like holy crap I think it's clearly implied that I'm supposed to wait until a later point in the game uh, so I can revisit levels, like go back through old mines and uh, revisit them. How do I, uh... There's a way to uh, do this. 
Nope, that's not it. Select. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please put back on my pyrokinesis. And I need to go over to... Yes. Dousing rod. Can I put this on a button? No? Well, I'd like to equip it. Alright. Oh, this is weird for me. Wait. Wait. Nope, my vibration stopped. Okay. So up here. Alright. Wait. 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 How does this work? Well, there's this, but this isn't... Nope, that's not... It's not close enough. Okay, what do I do? How does this work? So my controller's vibrating right here. Nope. Wait. Oh, it's picking up. Oh. Over here. Wait. 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 I'm close. Hold on. No. Wait. No. Ah, I'm right there. Got it. Wow. That, I don't remember how much it was. I think I made a lot of money on that, though. I think I made some money on that. I can't tell. Okay, I have 162 right now, so now I know what it is. Let's see what I can actually make. Wait. Okay, here we go. Ah! Wow, it's like 20 an arrowhead. That's not bad. Actually, that's really not terrible at all. I could live with that. Um, so let's go to the let's go to the docks. I'm not gonna waste an entire episode. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste too much time doing this, but I will run with it out just in case I pass up. Uh, Marco, wait. Wait. I'm close. Hello, children. I hope you're all I know I want to go learn to levitate, but I want to find one more arrowhead because I'm right on it. I just wanted to tell you that we are having a party out here on the floating dock, and I'd love for you all to come. Wait. Levitation Got it. Baby, and it's fun, fun, fun. This is really good. Oh my just gosh. And come join the party. Wait, that's a parking lot. I'm going the wrong way. Where the hell is the dock? So it must be on the other side, but I thought that was. Picking up anything. Must not be any dock. deep arrowheads nearby. Wow, this is this is really paying for itself right away. This, you were absolutely right, man. This was this was the way to go. Um, okay, so this is the kids' cabin area. I thought the parking lot was over that way, though. So maybe I was wrong. Okay, well let's let's just go take a quick peek. Right after I get another twenty dollars. Yeah. This this was the right move. This was definitely the right move. I might actually just go buy, uh, off screen I might get the web detangler. Just because, like, why not? Uh, nope. Nope. I'm addicted to this now. I hope you're happy. This is my life now. This is my life. Okay, where are the docks? Docks? Nope, that's the wilderness, so still the wrong spot. Those! That, that looks like the docks. That looks like the docks to me. Sweet. Okay, let's go learn to levitate. Again, try not to, you know, abuse my power of the dousing rod. That magnet, actually, I really do need it, too. They have the mental magnet in the store. That's incredibly important because, as you see, when I'm dying and I'm killing things, I can't have my health and ammo and stuff running away from me. I just need it, like, pulled in. Okay, here we go. It's a whole new area for you guys. I'm not going to bother looking around here too much because, again... It's important that we get our next uh, power up first, so let's just go do that. Yeah, <laughs> come on in. The water's down. You have a water phobia? <gasps> Me too. Huh? No. Well, yes. I just. My family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! I love how everyone's... Oh. Hey, Raz. I 
saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Aw. This kid's gonna have a real disappointment. Get out of here, seagulls! Can you burn a seagull? What about you, Mr. Fish? Alright, let's go. Let's keep our eye on the prize. Oh, Dogen! Are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab, and... TV? He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thornbush straight jacket tower place. Aggie sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. Oh yeah, I can't wait for our advanced training. Let's go do it. This is the wrong spot to do it. I think Mia is over that way. I like the hand, like the gesturing hand, like come on in. The water's fine. Okay, here we go. That'll be later. We'll talk to him. I just want to keep this pace going, you know? What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business. Light him on fire. Oh, no, you don't. Lift you him. Think? Oh, that was your fatal mistake. I hope you had a will. Oh. oh, oh, he hits you back. That's actually funny. <laughs> All right, let's let's go find Mia. I thought that's where it was, but that's the bathosphere for later. Come on out to Check the it out, Admiral. The I'm an oarsman, first class. Hey, it looks like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, it, it, let's get you afloat. Finest of the fleet. I'll take good care of her, sir. That lake isn't as peaceful or as harmless as she looks. <laughs> Now, don't take her out too far. How does this work again? Oh, no, Triangle? Don't. Press circle to paddle and... Oh, okay. I like how you paddle with your brain. It's a nice touch. Can I... How do I... Fine, whatever. I didn't want it anyway. I didn't want it anyway. We'll be back. We'll be back to show you. There they are. There they are. Okay, here we go. How do I, how do I dock this thing? Dock. Nope, all right, fine, I'm gonna... Come on, damn it. A little, little, little push, little, come on. There it is. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate that sound effect. There she is. And there you are, darling. Don't worry, I got in contact with your father and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. My father? Oh, go to go, the race is starting. Oh, I forgot about the race. Lily. Oh, hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's <laughs> No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was going to take them out. And... Was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't meat. know, but I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool. Yeah, it feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! Aww. I really like her making the friendship bracelet. That's cute. Agent Vodello? I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? Flatterer. I didn't know he noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Flirt! 
Okay, let's party. <laughs> she is not exaggerating at all. Things are about to get weird. Rock and roll. All right. So now we're getting another psychic power. We got a lot, actually. Like, wow. We've only been in this video or this series for a few parts, and we're like, we can shoot, burn things, lift things. I don't know if double jump counts. It's kind of... Levitate is pretty much a double jump. I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now. Because we have double jump, but that psychic ball is going to be kind of like our levitation orb. Well, it'll show it to us later, but we're going to get like, well, we'll Look see. who made the scene. Agent Vodello? Where are you? On TV, of course. Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. All right, levitation. So while we levitate, we now, move. Up here and follow me, darling. We move super fast, as you can see, and it works kind of. It works kind of oh, like fast walk, if I can describe that. It's a little more unpredictable, but so clearly, I think the way this is supposed to be established is that no one can see me on the bubble. There but go. yeah, you bounce. It's oh, you know what it's like. Best way to describe this, it's like in Sonic, uh, Sonic Three and Knuckles when you get the bubble shield. It's it pretty much lets you do like the now high for bounce. This last one, you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get this is important. Air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Just jump for those rings as high as you can, and then do your side float. Don't be afraid, darling. Okay, so, oh, it's R1? Okay, this is good, this is good. So R2, and then L1 to float. Okay, I think I, re I remember that. I think I remember that. I just don't want to miss any figments or anything. Okay, so, Joe, you think you're clever, figment? I see you. I'm the king of you. All right. Ah! Oh my gosh. I got too, I got too excited. I, I blew it, I blew it. Oh, I can do better, I can do better. Ah! Okay, here we go. I gotta change the color of my orb. Float! I blew it again, I blew it again. I can fix this, I can fix this. You guys just have to have faith in me, you know? You just have, have some faith, have some faith. How do I keep my orb out? That's a, that's my question. Okay, so we gotta jump, levitate. Yes, 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 yes. Nailed it. Outstanding! Okay, now, just between you and me, this end of the party is dead. Come find me on the other side of the party, and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man. All right, so let's get this tag, because we're going to need it. And we're going to explore a bit before we go and find Mia to get our badge, clearly. It's just funny, because up to this point, this is an interesting level design. Because we've only been in Sasha's mind, which was super organized and sat on the tag. Like, what do you want to call it? Like, it was super organized and it was really uh, contained. And now we have uh, Mia's mind, which is a party, and Oleander's mind. Damn it! Which is a um, Oleander's mind, which was a war zone. So clearly, our minds are a reflection of ourselves. We're gonna get. Actually, I don't know if this game has it. I, I remember reading about it, but like, there's. We get to, we might get some insight into this this woman's Stay mind. Stay on the ball in here, Rasputin, if you want to get higher, and see if you can get all those rings spinning, Mr. DJ. I just I just want figments, but I can't see what they are because this whole place is really pretty. I'm not complaining. I'm just curious. Something's crying. There's baggage in here that needs a hug. Wow, I got one. Well, all right. Well, you are the I'm not sugar in my bowl, darling. Now just follow the flowers, won't you? And try to stay rolling at all times. That is the theme of this party. Wait, I'm not leaving without that figment, crafty lady. 
Oh, this is so hard, you guys. You have no idea. Oh my gosh. Chill out. Chill out, bro. Chill out, Raz. Okay, here we go. Right. No, there's a figment down there. You can also, again, worth mentioning here, guys. I don't know if anyone's actually... If, <laughs> for those who are playing along at home. You can actually use... You don't have to be levitating to use the bubble. You can always just hover. So, with the power of levitation, you get a permanent hover. You don't have to equip to any buttons or anything. You can always just hover whenever you see fit. So, you guys can just enjoy that. Okay, good. Good, alright. Fantastic! What style you have, young man! Now, I'm not saying that you will fall, but if you ever did, I'll put a ball return down here for you. Just jump in there if you need to come back up here in a hurry. Sweet. Darling, float over here, will you? These rings aren't spinning, and they are ruining my party. They're, they're blowing the vibe. They're Remember blowing the vibe. To use your sci float. I'm not saying it won't... Yay! I better not fall immediately after this, because I kind of interrupted my uh, movement. Ah, oh, you know what guys, it's worth mentioning. Okay, so we should stop here because we have a lot more of this mine to go through and we don't have a lot of time. So thanks for watching Let's Play Psychonauts. In the next one, we're gonna finish the rest of Mia, Mia's mind and find out some information about her. It's a little twisted. So join us in the next time. Hopefully you guys will come to party. Thanks for watching and take it easy.